Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another interesting session that is on script tracer. So uh, please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So what is script tracer? So script tracer can filter our debugging search to quickly narrow down the debugging uh, scripting problems. So suppose like we are having any issues in any server side execution so we will get to know where the problem is exactly exactly the problem is right rather than searching all the script within a table it's better to utilize script tracer so that we can find wh what are what is the debugging issues happening on which line on which scripts right so we can identify lines of uh, script in the glide record that have gone under execution so it will show what line of code is executed at that point of time while while the execution is happening on the server side or any updation is happening on the form all right so this will provide specific lines instead of uh, uh, doing wide line of search uh, while going to uh, all the business rules right so it will take so much of time but using a script tracer you will find a specific script executed within a specific lines of code displayed like what line of code is displayed at the time of execution of certain activity right so we can narrow down our search using a script tracer so how we can open our script tracer so i will simply type a script tracer here And you will see the script tracer is opened here. All right. So now you can see there is a start tracer button here. And uh, let me try to open our incident form so that you will uh, get to know what exactly uh, script tracer is all about. So now. Uh, I will start my script tracer here and we will see what, what execution has happened. So I have clicked on uh, uh, start tracer and now I have opened this incident. And now you will see uh, as soon as I have opened incident what, uh, what all things has been executed. So you can see here I have opened the incident. Uh, let me clear the trace here let me stop the tracer so much of output we have got here now what we will do is like again we will start our tracer and we will try to update something on our uh, incident form so suppose i will try to update our uh, work notes incident work notes for tracer script so as soon as i will update this and you will see some execution uh, is happened here. You can see our save action is performed. Uh, just ignore this thing happening. So we will see lot of scripts. Uh, ideally, it should not be uh, visible this way. So let me try to stop it again. So trace has been cleared now and now again uh, what I will do is like I will add I will update sort description and we will see what execution has happened. Okay we haven't started the tracer so I have clicked on start tracer. Let me update sort description of this incident. So we have large uh, number of data here. So you can see what are the, all the file types here. We can select, right? So let me stop this tracer and we will check for uh, other table because we are getting so much of information under incident list. So let me go for our problem record and we will try to open our script tracer for problem record script tracer I will click on start tracer here 
and now I will try to update our problem statement here so I have clicked on save now I will see our two file has been updated or execution has happened so now you can see under problem we have uh, these all access controls and uh, uh, UI actions business rule how it has been executed it is shown here so what line of code is executed that is shown here and uh, here also you will see problem state is changed from 101 to 102 so line number 14 is executed under access control I mean line number one is updated right so here if I have clicked on here and I have clicked on view file we will able we will see the file which is executed so here line number 14 is updated so we will see what is under line number 14 so line number 14 you will see uh, a state value is set it is changed to some another state right problem update state to ss state is changed to ss here all right so this is these all way we can trace our script whatever server side execution is happening while uh, working on form or while execution of that form so we will be able to identify very easily where we are having any issues right so let me try to show you a demo quick demo under this problem suppose i will try to create one business rule here under problem table and then we will uh, see what is happening under script tracer while we are having any issues uh, within our uh, business rules so let me try to create one business rule here I will try to print some message and we will see how this will display an error under problem so suppose here I will write so I have intentionally wrote this so I have intentionally wrote this uh, gs.info message as wrong so as how it is executed and it is uh, displaying some error so it will show so let me uh, let me also update the condition so this business rule will run on update and uh, short description changes short okay so we will type problem statement changes so now I will click on save all right so our business rule is written on problem statement is changed so let me reload our form this now we will try to open our script tracer here so you can see our script tracer has opened and now uh, I will yeah problem statement is already open and now script tracer so I will click on start tracer here and then I will try to update our short description or problem statement so I have clicked on save and now we will see our script tracer that has thrown an error on one of the business rule which I have created a script tracer demo message and other four things are also uh, three things has updated uh, executed uh, like business rule UI action business rule access control right so I have clicked on script tracer demo message and here the error is shown G triple S or uh, G S S S S is not defined so we can try to view file from here right and then we can update our script here gs and then click on save all right now i will stop the tracer and again i will start the tracer 
uh, let me click here the trace and now uh, I will try to execute uh, my uh, again uh, let me reload this form and we can see while loading also some of the execution is done on access control side so let me try to update problem statement again and I will click on save here and now the message is displayed uh, that means our business rule is executed and we will not get any other error here so uh, all four execution came this two is uh, has come when form is loaded next four is working as expected however it has uh, been executed and for all of them line number one is executed and we have no error in any of the server side scripts so using a script tracer we can also debug our script like which line of code is throwing me the error so we can directly search that script and we can modify and fix the script accordingly so this is also a quite nice feature for a script tracer and as well as script debugger so we can debug our script uh, enormously uh, like uh, we are having multiple business rules in particular table so we can uh, directly go to each business rule and we can see which line of uh, code is throwing the error which line of code is not working properly so you can fix that line of code uh, identifying where we are getting any error so it will reduce our huge amount of time for script debugging uh, to find what issue is there uh, within uh, any server execution or anything happens while updating the record right so this is quite a nice feature for me so it i have been using it daily for my scripting uh, tracing and debugging uh, techniques all right so i have i will stop this tracer and i will close this and yeah so this is all about script tracer so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it